Well, since we have many data, but coming from different studies with different populations and so on, with different signals, it was important to pull all data together to have a single strong message on the effect of such type of classes that uh, are uh, fundamental for the treatment of COPD. And this is the reason why we performed uh, uh, this meta-analysis. Well, we saw that the, in any case, double bronchodilation is always much better than single bronchodilator, and this is independent from the class of bronchodilator that we consider. And this is the fundamental aspect. Uh, we have not performed meta-analysis against ICS LABA. There are other meta-analysis in any case, one coming from Japan, for example, which documented that double bronchodilation can be better than ICS LABA in preventing exacerbation. This is extremely important. Obviously, if we just look at the bronchodilation, two bronchodilators work better than a single bronchodilator. There is no question on this. I must say that all are really effective. Three on the market are once daily uh, combination, FISDOX combination, another is twice daily combination, another is coming that will be a twice daily combination as well. The problem is what the patient and the physician prefer. Uh, many patients prefer to uh, be treated with a single day uh, administration but the other prefer to be under control with double bronchodilation administered twice a daily and this is what the uh, physician must look at to ensure the compliance of patients to the prescribed treatment and that means the adherence to the treatment that as you know is very low in COPD patients. Well, as all meta-analysis, meta-analysis pool data, as I said before, the trend today is to go toward uh, personalized medicine, and what you receive and you take from meta-analysis cannot be, uh, can be generalized to general population, but it's not for the single patient. Uh, it is mandatory that each physician always look at the single patient giving him or her the best therapy that uh, work in that specific patients. So you can consider meta-analysis as a, a drive, a general drive, but after you must be careful in the choice of the therapy that you want to prescribe. That's very simple because I think that we need to perform more studies to see interferences that could be always be present. Uh, we must uh, explore the impact of these uh, uh, combinations in patients with, part, with the comorbidities, mainly cardiovascular comorbidities, but not only cardiovascular comorbidities. There is a need of pragmatic study in real life. That's what um, I can suggest to colleagues to do. To do and um, what I can see in Italy or in Europe likely is not the same in China or in India, for example, or in South America. So we need local pragmatic trials.